Hello everyone and welcome to my second update on the Universal Lego Sorter. This is what I have so far at this point in time. It's a big structure. You got these nice supports up here for the conveyor belt and then also a good funnel. And this is all for the main hopper, the first of three steps in getting a big pile of randomized Lego parts in all sorts of shapes and sizes down into just one piece at a time for the scanning mechanism to be able to read. So in this iteration, the pieces roll down and just in between these beams on the conveyor belt and this pulls them up the conveyor belt and off into the next section. It's resting on a bunch of bearings all built into this pretty complex structure that goes inside the conveyor belt. I'm pretty proud of that part. And then if the conveyor belt is timed unperfectly where the pieces like small axles and little pegs and studs and stuff like that, if they fall right after a beam has gone by, they will look like they fell down into the machine, especially from a top-down view. And that can be really satisfying, especially when the machine pulls them back out again. And that's thanks to this kind of barrier plate back here which prevents pieces from just flying all over the place. So this is what I have so far. It's a pretty cool structure, it looks kind of neat. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to redesign the entire conveyor belt and this big portion of the hopper as the slots on the conveyor belt are simply too small to fit larger pieces and carry them up the belt. I hope you found this video entertaining or inspiring. When I upload the next update, it'll probably have a completely redesigned conveyor belt with a fully done main hopper and i'll try to start getting to work on that second smaller conveyor belt